What's good YouTube, Akil here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be sharing some items that sold on eBay for me over the past month. Now, I used to do these what sold videos several times a month, sometimes once or twice a week, but I like to just condense it now to just once a month and kind of just share with some of like the highlight sales, some of my favorite ones, some of the ones that stood out, and of course the ones that I think that you guys can learn the most from. So if you guys are interested in these type of what sold videos, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and without further ado, let's get into it. Alright y'all, so first up in terms of sales that actually kind of surprised me was this Rock Band 3 for the Xbox 360. Now when I first picked this up, I was really just trying to get into video games and like I told you guys before, I sold a few in the past but oftentimes I would just walk right by them because I didn't know the market was so hot for them but some for some reason I'm pretty sure it's probably due to the pandemic. These video games that I've been picking up have been flying off the shelves. As soon as I list them and like put them away in my inventory, they're they are literally selling within two to three days so you guys definitely need to to be sourcing video games as much as possible as long as you guys can get it for a good price so like I said I picked this video game up for only $249 and I was able to flip this one for $49.99 next up we got a pair of new balances and I actually picked these up from Ross I actually shared this in my community tab on the YouTube channel because I'm really not doing too much retail arbitrage anymore but I was able to pick these up for I think it was $24.99 or $29.99 I'll make sure I try to get a screen grab for you guys so you guys can check that out but these ended up selling for $134.99 after having them for a 10% off sale so these were definitely a really really good shoe it took a little long to sell maybe a little less than a month but I was I thought it was gonna sell way faster than that that's why I'm saying it took a little while but with that additional 10% off that I try to run just about every weekend now that just enticed the right buy to grab those up so definitely be on the lookout for more of those trips to Ross and more retail arbitrage videos right now the thrift is just hot so that's where I'm gonna be spending most of my time and putting more of my energy what's good y'all so today's video is sponsored by photo room and if you guys aren't familiar with photo room they're actually the number one photo studio for entrepreneurs so in case you guys didn't know I actually been using photo room for a couple months now I actually been using it primarily for my big cartel store but I think this app could really help you guys out a lot for your eBay or Poshmark business or even if you guys are more into social media and you want to use it for like a YouTube thumbnail or maybe like your Instagram stories I think this could really just give it that professional touch that all of us are really just continuously striving for so let me just hop into the app really quickly and just give you guys some more details on this free app all right y'all so first off what you're going to want to do is of course download the photo room app this is what it looks like and the best part about it is that the photo room app is free so i'm just going to go ahead and click on that and as you guys can see there are a ton of different templates here to choose from most importantly they already have ebay and poshmark built in but first off what we're going to do for today's video is simply just start from photo click on camera and I'm just gonna take a quick photo of this shirt just so you guys can see this working in action so once you click on that and you take the photo as you guys can see this is a simple flat lay just me taking this photo on my floor I'm just gonna go ahead and use photo and just once you guys see that it starts to scan the photo and wipes out the background really really quickly really easily so from there you guys can change up the background to different color combinations you can throw some cool effects on there if you want to as well especially if you guys upgrade to the pro model but like i said from there it's super easy super simple and all you're gonna have to do from there go ahead and click on that and just save it and that once it's saved to your phone you can go ahead and use it for ebay you can use it for youtube or instagram do whatever it is that you guys need to do with it but like i said it just looks much better much more professional as opposed to using uh just my floor like how i usually would do now like i tell you guys all the time there's nothing wrong with just having a simple clean background as long as it's non-distracting but once you have a nice white background similar to this it just looks way more professional so shout out to photo room for sponsoring today video next up we got a pair of Kobe nines in this cobalt blue colorway and I actually thrifted these a few weeks ago for only 30 bucks and they were not in this good of condition I definitely had to clean these up and get them in better condition make them look a little better and more appealing for buyers and I'm so glad that I actually took the time to clean these up because if you guys check the comps for these on eBay um, ones that's not in the best condition sell for like 70 to 80 bucks if you're lucky but for me I was able to scrub these up make them look as nice as possible and they sold for 130 plus shipping literally within about an hour so I probably could have squeezed even a little more for it but it is what it is definitely made a good amount of profit with that and of course when it comes to Kobe's I don't try to like price gouge or price it way over the market 
or just price it crazy. For me, it's a really good shoe and I'm pretty sure it went to a really good home. Next up, we got this Garmin Drive Smart GPS and I usually don't pick up GPS systems, especially since I like the value for them just isn't really there. And for me personally, I know a lot of people, you know, have GPS systems in their car like myself. So I didn't think there was such a big market for this one. But since this one was touchscreen, it was more of like a newer model. This one was selling for 60 bucks. So I just decided to go ahead and grab that one up. And I think I spent about five bucks for this one. So definitely a really good flip and these are the types of stuff I'm really trying to kind of gravitate towards a little more electronics that's still in really good working condition if I get it for anywhere between like five and anywhere between like five and ten bucks and sell it for around 60 or more that's right where I'm trying to be with just about all of my sales all right y'all so next up we got the Netgear Orbi RBS 50 and this one sold for 150 bucks now if you guys follow the channel you guys already know I picked this one up and I think I spent 10 bucks for these maybe a little less than that but I was able to grab these up when when I did I was super hype about that it took maybe a little less than three weeks for this one to sell but nonetheless a really good flip for me and I always like to pick up these routers and these types of modems because I always get them for a super cheap price and sometimes they sell for anywhere between like 30 or 40 bucks but then every once in a while you can find some really good home runs that sell for a hundred plus so definitely be on the lookout for some of these routers if you guys are in some of these thrift stores next up we got another banger and this one is a Harley Davidson vest and this one was in really good condition when I seen it I had some little minor stains but of course I just had to wipe it down since it was a really high quality leather and this one sold for 180 bucks and surprisingly I even charged shipping for this one as well because that's something I'm trying to implement a little more into my stores but when it came down to it I think I spent 17 bucks for this one with an additional 20% off and it sold within about two weeks it took a little longer than I thought I thought I priced it perfectly um, I had it listed for 199 and then I got a best offer came in at 180 and I went ahead and accepted that one and the thing is I tell you guys all the time very rare do I even have like offers set for any items in my store but the comps on this one was kind of tricky I seen brand new leather vest sell for like a hundred then I seen some other ones that were similar to mine sell for about 200 so I just priced mine at 200 I made sure that I restricted the type of bids that I would even receive to my phone just so that you know people wouldn't try to send me lowball offers and stuff like that I think the lowest offer I said I would accept on this item was like 170 or something like that just to make sure that you know some whoever was sending me an offer was actually serious and they were legit about it and this buyer just paid immediately so I was definitely happy about that next up we got this Bose free space 51 outdoor speaker and I picked this up for only 850 now this was a steal because as soon as I walked past this in the thrift the only reason why I even noticed it was because I seen that it said Bose and as you guys know I've been selling a ton of Bose stuff lately I literally just been attracting it I don't, I don't know if you guys believe in the law of attraction but for me I literally just been manifesting a lot of these items and like I said it was only 850 and after checking the comps on these these were selling for anywhere between 150 and one was selling for as high as like 180 190 I just priced mine kind of conservatively at first I had it listed a little more I think I had it listed for like 160 and then I ended up changing the price to 150 because someone sent me a message asked me if I would take 150 and of course since I only paid 850 for it I figured I might as well just go ahead and let that one go I ended up shipping this one out via UPS only because it was way too big for me to ship it out via pirate ship so if you guys come across any really large items and you're kind of nervous about shipping it out make sure you guys head over to eBay and make sure that you uh, try shipping it out either UPS or FedEx uh, because usually you'll be able to ship out larger items larger heavier items for, for a somewhat of a discount in terms of just shipping it out through USPS. Next up we got this Canon 514XL Super Movie Camera, Super 8 Movie Camera. Now when I seen this one I was definitely shocked at this and it was in a nice leather case so once I seen the case I knew it had to have some type of value to it and I picked this one up I think I spent maybe 20 bucks on this one maybe maybe a little less but like I said this one sold for 250 and I was really, really glad about this one because I was getting a ton of questions on it, a ton of, ton of, just a lot of people was watching it. Some people was asking me questions about it. And with this type of camera, I wasn't able to test it with film. So I just made sure I described it as best as possible. Let people know that, you know, it turns on, it functions. Um, the triggers all those things different all those different things work but I just let them know I wasn't able to test it with film but if I was able to test it with film I probably would have been able to sell this for 350 or even four hundred dollars so definitely keep that in mind when you guys are selling electronics online sometimes you're able to test every feature and you can just guarantee that buyer that you know exactly what they're gonna get and then sometimes if you can just test it to, to a limited degree 
just drop that in the description and let them know that way the buyer kind of feels a little more comfortable with it next up we got a set of Bose computer speakers and like I told you guys I found a ton of Bose speakers and I think I spent $650 for this one and I ended up selling this one for $59.99 with free shipping so not too much to talk about that just know that if you guys see Bose grab it up next up we got these filters and this was actually uh, I thought this was gonna be a really nice sale to share with you guys because I only picked these up for I think $199 or $299 and I sold both of them to Together, and this was just a mistake on my end because I only shipped it out in a padded flat rate envelope I doubled it up and I wrapped it up with some uh, with some extra bubble wrap and then I put it in a padded flat thinking that was gonna be like enough for it but I actually should have put this in a box because once the buyer received it they told me that the filter was cracked and of course I lost that on that money because I had to send them a full refund but nonetheless still a really good filter for you guys to be on the lookout for if you guys can find it especially for a good price <laughs> next up we got this Sony portable DVD player and these DVD players I had no clue that these were selling for so much money still this one sold for 60 bucks with free shipping and I think I spent maybe seven or eight dollars for this one and like I said I tested it out in the store made sure that it was working and I try to make sure that I also take photos of, of me testing the item I always try to lit and include that in the actual listing just so that the buyer knows exactly what they're getting and this one sold within like three or four days so definitely be on the lookout for these portable DVD players because they still have a ton of value next up we got this Niles SAS one signal something something what? I don't know what this is I had no clue but it was heavy and I've been I've been noticing that a lot of these electronics Sometimes if you just type in, you know, type in the model number or type in the brand, you'll be able to get a better understanding of what it is. This particular thing, still not really sure what it was, but it sold for $84.99 plus $9 shipping. Well, $8 shipping, so definitely a ton of profit. And I picked this up for like 6 bucks and 50 cents. So I tell you guys all the time, you don't necessarily need to know what you're selling. You just need to know how much it's selling for. Next up, we got another one of these Aris routers. And I love selling these because I'll usually always spend somewhere between like 5 and 8 bucks for these. And they usually always sell anywhere between 60 and 70 bucks for me. I actually sold two of these earlier in the month. I sold one for 60 bucks. Then I realized that I played myself and I probably could have listed it for a little more. And then the second time I found the same exact model, I listed it for $10 more. And I went ahead and I got 70 bucks for this one. So don't be like me. Don't don't short yourself. Don't price your stuff too cheap. Make sure you guys are just make, getting all the profits you deserve. And for this particular one, I was able to sell it really, really quickly. So as you guys know, I'm starting to switch up my categories a little more and just kind of like broaden my horizons when it comes to the whole eBay reselling and shout out to my homie fundamentals of side hustling I'll make sure I link his videos in the description below so you guys can check out his channel he sells a ton of games and he just kind of put me on to selling some of these games he always tells me to make sure I'm checking uh, like when you go into Goodwill and you check on some of the walls you have a ton of little toys like sitting in bags and I always try to make sure I sort through some of those bags so you can find some toys for two dollars and some of them sell for like three and four hundred bucks it's, it's crazy how much people are set or are spending on these like collectible toys but at the end of the day I was able to flip these for 40 bucks I think I had it listed for 50 took a best offer of 40 bucks plus nine dollar shipping for this item so this the brand of this I believe is buddy L and buddy L is made in Japan and usually a lot of those made in Japan toys sell for a ton of profit so definitely be on the lookout for stuff like this and like I said it's all new to me so I can't give you guys too much gems but at the end of the day just make sure you guys checking out some of those bags and goodwill and just kind of sift through and see so just use your better judgment and just check the comps on just about everything next up we got a pair of rock revival jeans and these were for men sold these for $59.99 plus $12 shipping and I picked these jeans up for 10 bucks and at one point I really wasn't like too much into selling jeans anymore just mainly because I was kind of overselling clothes but I was checking out one of my homies channels Derek a aka the ATL flipper I'll make sure I link his uh, his channel in the description below as well he picked up a very similar pair of these jeans the one that I found was only selling for 60 but at the end of the day it definitely inspired me to grab these jeans up so shout out to him next up is something else that I had no clue what this is but apparently this is the Pathfinder flight planning calculator and for me all I did is literally type in CX-2 on eBay and I pulled up a bunch of comps for this exact same item and I seen that it was selling for 50 bucks and since they were only asking like two dollars and fifty cents for this particular item I just went ahead and I grabbed this one up and like I said sometimes I sell stuff that I have no clue what it is but all you really need is the model number sometimes the brand name and you're good to go in terms of selling it 
And once I put a battery in here and I seen that it was working, I knew I was good to go. Next up, we got a vintage lens. And this one is actually from Pentax. And Pentax is like an older camera company. I don't even think they're still in existence right now. But this one sold for 80 bucks free shipping. And once again, I think I spent three or four bucks on this lens. Um, lenses are, are tricky because sometimes you'll see a vintage lens and you might think it's worth something. It might be really long and it might have a lot of like pizzazz about it. But at the end of the day, you always got to just do the research when it comes to some of these lenses because this one in particular didn't really look like it had a lot of details or it was really desirable of course once I typed in all the information on eBay I seen that these lenses were selling for a decent amount of profit and like I said it sold for 80 bucks and I barely spent three bucks on this one so definitely a ton of profit was made of this next up keeping things going with some of these cameras is this Sony Cybershot uh, this is the mark 2 I actually owned the mark 3 and I sold the mark 3 in February and I came across the mark 2 uh, just a few weeks ago and when I found it I think I spent 40 or 50 bucks on this I definitely had to spend a little more money than I wanted to but once I seen that these were selling for well over like 150 bucks I knew I had to grab this one up and it was in really really good condition so I knew I was going to be able to make some decent profit on this one and like I said it sold within about two or three weeks after picking it up and it sold for $209.99 with free shipping. Next up, we got a pair of Tiger Woods golf shoes. And these actually sold for $110 with free shipping once again. And as soon as I seen these, I knew they was going to be worth some money. Did I know how much money? Absolutely not. But at the end of the day, I know some of the older Tiger Woods golf shoes, they bring in some decent profit. So this particular model, kind of rare. Not a ton of people had them listed on eBay. So for that reason, I probably could have priced mine even higher than that. So if you guys come across this same shoe, uh, uh, probably price it for maybe 120 130 somewhere around there and once again I think I spent 12 or 14 dollars for these shoes so definitely a good amount of profit on that all right y'all so last but certainly not least we got this pair of Wolverine thousand mile boots and I picked up two pairs of these boots one was in like this darker colorway that sold here and I have a lighter pair that it's in like kind of like a softer suede that one is still listed for 199 as well and I had these listed for 199 but I went ahead and accepted an offer for 170 mainly because it was sitting in my inventory for a little longer than expected so I went ahead and accepted that offer but like I said really low buy cost for these just around like 24 or 29 bucks and I'm just super glad that I was able to pick these up for such a low price because one of the biggest things that I'm trying to do now is really just trying to maximize my profits and maximize my time that's why I'm spending way more time in thrift stores instead of going to Burlington and Ross but when you can find stuff like this these are the types of things that's going to inspire me and encourage me to keep going back to places like Burlington and Ross so definitely be on the lookout for more of those types of videos because as the seasons start to change I know some of those stores are just going to start heating up again and I'm going to definitely have to start spending more time in there alright y'all that's all I have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also drop in the comment section let me know which one of these was your favorite sale which item kind of impressed you the most or surprised you the most in terms of how much it sold for just drop a comment let me know you guys know I always like to interact with you guys in the comment section but until then I'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace I'm tight and now I'm off this shit